Speaking of another thing that you are going to have to show me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I'm talking I know like, what you're saying. Pure on Missouri. We right. got to get talking about this loot crate update. You know what I'm saying? Because I... Y'all got to show me. Is all I'm saying. So, update on the loot crate situation. We did a bit of an expose before and been kind of like in a holding pattern because, uh, you know, not really a lot had come out. Mm -hmm. um, last word was that, uh, you know, shipping um, estimations uh, just kept changing months on the website. Uh, just kept getting another month. Uh, always a month away from where you were. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a, like a mirage, if you will. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> um, and they were always just moving across the desert. You were just chasing those loot crates. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Well, uh, uh, on June 22nd, uh, word started kind of moving around a little bit that uh, people were starting to receive emails uh, from Loot Crate saying that their crates were on the way. Um, I have not received that email. You know oh. what I mean? And I have been checking for that email. I have not received that email yet. Dang. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the email winds up giving you a tracking number, and it's a lot like a standard kind of shipping email. Um the farthest you can kind of get going would be this is so this is uh, for the TMT limited uh, edition series crates two so a series two, um, the complete set of four and then the bonus figure okay, like so once you click the links and once you kind of follow through what's going on, um, you get an order summary and it gets kind of weird and it winds up ending out with the tracking number just says the label's created and then an update as of today shows that it's on the way with some estimations like around yeah. like june 29th something mm -hmm. like that which is like really soon mm -hmm. um and i haven't gotten that email I, i'm very curious about all y'all if you've gotten this email or not uh you know i don't know if it went out to everybody i just like how some it. people got their danny and other people didn't yeah now yeah. what's funny is every time i um search my uh, email for Loot Crate and right. see what I got going on. Uh, I do see them trying to sell me more shit. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, over and over and over with limited edition Loot Crates like yeah. it's going out of style. Uh, but no word about the thing I ordered forever ago. Yeah, uh, so that's just my take on it. Uh, you know, if you've gotten that email, that's great. And come uh, you know June 29th or even earlier, hopefully, uh, you should have those in your hands. But like I said at the top, I've got to see it. Yeah, I've got to see it. I've I've lost uh, almost all faith uh, in Loot Crate. Um, okay. I I, yeah. I I I you know we went over it before in that news segment that mm -hmm. Loot Crate and NECA are a little too little too close. Yeah. Uh, and there's some a little bit of sharing there that uh, is not necessarily being transparent, um, uh, being made transparent to people who are involved in doing business with Loot Crate. Right. Um, at the same time, it hasn't really shaken me away from NECA. Uh, yeah. But it's absolutely round my faith in Loot Crate. So absolutely. I hope you guys are getting those. Uh, definitely write in uh, TurtleSoupShow at gmail.com or yeah. comment on this video or anything like that if you have gotten yours when that date comes up or if you got that email. Uh, if you haven't gotten that email and have a friend that does, like I'm in my current situation where I'm well, – Yeah. Boy, he's, he's, he's got an email, but I don't got an email. Yeah, we got uh, the email. You know, if you're frustrated, you know, let, you know, let us know because um, – I really want to see those figures in everybody's hands, and I, I, yeah. and I, I but they got to they got to show me. You yep. know what I'm saying? I, I show me the curve on that one. I need exactly. to see it because I, it's kind of crazy. Um, it is. So, can get back over to you. Uh, mm -hmm. do, so, do you think they're going to be sending just like the second loot crate, <gasps> or like the rest of one, and then act like uh, the delay never happened? Right. Do you think they're just going to drop ship all the crates and be like, oh, there's all your shit? Like, like, what, like, what do you? I don't know. Man. If you had to, I, I'm trying to rephrase my question. So, if you had to like put some money, like a bet, right? Now, come June 20, come uh, June 29th. That's a Wednesday. That's the date that that everyone's been saying. Yeah. Come June 29th, what do you think is going to be in the mailbox for some I, for for people? Okay, so I think something. How many people do you think are going to get something in the mailbox? Ooh, I think. Ooh. I don't know. I want to be optimistic and say that everybody's going to at least get something because I think I've seen people because and again, you know, the last time we did this, I, I was mistaken and I thought that everyone had already received their their first uh, box. But y'all let us know that, that that's not the case. And I apologize to anyone who, that, you know, may have you know that have disturbed or whatever. But uh, but yeah, but yeah, apparently there was a lot of y'all who hadn't received Danny yet. And so I think they are definitely going to be getting their Danny. 
Um, but as far as everyone who already has, it's it's just interesting that that it's across the board. It's not just people yeah. who um well see it's weird because I forgot that you didn't get an email. So it's it's but then again, nope. you only got um the the Ar- Armagon one, right? Which was I think yeah. the third. I think that's the third or fourth. Yeah, I think it was it was, it was loot crate three. Right. Yeah. So um and as far as my email's concerned, it just says series two complete set of four plus one bonus figure. That's all it says. Yeah, what, so, so I, I saw I saw the series three thing, but what what got me a little bit is if you can you know uh, if you can send uh, emails uh, to people that order crate two mm-hmm. and tell them that their stuff's on the way when your initial estimations for shipping were always crates two and three were bound together and all that oh. stuff that you could go to that website and all that right. stuff two and three. And the Instagram post they made and everything mm-hmm. like that was all based around series two and three. Almost like, look, things are delayed on getting them out one by one, but like we've got at least two and three ready to go. Oh, Fourth, okay. they've never even mentioned, so you don't even know what's going on. Right. But like, my my, I guess my issue is like, yes, I did not order crate two. Right. But I don't get an update on crate three. Yeah, that's we've strange. To the two of them together for so long. You know right. what I mean? Like, it's just strange. So when the what now I'm looking at it, uh, it it does show on my email or at least on the um the link it says crate number three. Now, um, I mean, yeah. So uh, I it's cool, up in the cool, air. Cool I definitely story. I definitely think that we're gonna get something in the mail. I don't think that this is because they printed the shipping label, so something is definitely coming to those of us who have received uh this email um but uh but definitely check your email and, and verify because oh, hold on um, a minute. no our Ar- arcade is crate number two is it oh okay. i'm just looking back at the email i got from uh october 8th 2021 oh uh, where oh. they said um Almost a year ago due to ongoing issues with covid19 global shipping routes have been jammed uh and transit times blah blah blah, blah biden's america i mean basically any, anything any excuse they could throw into this email um uh, you know, uh, and then um, and then, yeah, they said it's been delayed. Uh, that was from then. And then every email I have after that is get your Marvel and Deadpool loot crates. Uh, <laughs> get your limited edition My Chemical Romance loot, uh, loot crates. That, that right. That's my uh, right. when I search, uh, search loot crate in my email. That's so, um, you know, they don't fail every month to try to sell me something. But right, uh, right. they don't have any update on that. Mm-hmm. So I haven't. I, I've, I've always, always I forgot. I thought Arcade was three, but no, it was yeah, two. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, I, so, yeah. I, I really yeah. have no idea at this point, man. Like, I, w- I want to be yeah. optimistic, and I, I do believe, like I said, we're going to get I something. I hope so. But, um, yeah, I, I don't but know. I guess, but I guess it's I don't know if it's first come, first serve situation or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but my, my, my issue is, I mean, like, you know, I guess you want to tamp down some of it by fulfilling some if you yeah. don't have all of them. Yeah. And you're fulfilling some. But the fact that there is no email or any kind of communication to the people that have stuff in the wind on this is super obnoxious. It uh, is. Really obnoxious that, like, you, for example, can get an email. Mm-hmm. And I don't get an email. Yeah. Like, that. that's crazy. Right. Like, it, it's like they don't think we talk or something. Exactly. It's, it's like, don't they know like. that it feels, we it feels like host you don't the think that people have the internet. Yeah. Well, you don't think people have the internet. And you don't think, like, I mean, hell, we know about this. Right. Like. Like, you know what I mean? And like, so I obviously I didn't get an email, but I saw that yeah. emails were sent out. Yeah. So you, you're, you're trying to tamp it down by, by uh, and this is just my opinion, mm. you're trying to tamp down the, the fervor by getting things to people. And, that, and that's, yes, that's the assignment uh, is to take the money, you know, with the money you took and actually, you know, do something with it. Right. Um, but at the same time, you act like we all don't know that some, like a lot of us are not. So mm. like getting any information. Yeah. Which makes the whole thing even worse mm. when you put it on order. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I want to be optimistic too, but like, given I haven't seen an email, I mean, call me Missouri. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know where when it's coming. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with it, and it sucks that you can order something like that mm-hmm. that that from a company that you 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 kind of thought had a good you know backing behind it, you thought was legit, right? And uh, you can just get held out in the wind like this. So if yeah. you're if you're one of those people, I I sympathize. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it, it's rough. Um, now I'm, cu- I was curious if any of the, uh, extra stuff, like I'm wearing the, um, the, the t- sweatshirt that is like actually like the brightest uh-huh. it's, it's sun yellow, if you will. Yeah. And, um, it is. 
it, I, I, my wife came in and her eyes were like she had to cover her eyes and she it was just it's like she'd yeah. seen the glory of god like whenever paul was like uh-huh. or when he was saul and he saw jesus and turned you know his eyes got crusted over or whatever um it's kind of like that mm. uh that's how bright this thing is mm. um i'm wondering yeah because I don't think they revealed, I could be completely wrong here, but I don't recall them revealing everything that was going to come in no. each box. I think they just said, you're going to get some stuff. No. Here's the first one. Um, so no. I wonder if that played any factor in any of this stuff, um, whether or not they're like, what if what if the whole thing was just like, you know, the shirt manufacturing or the button manufacturing company or the koozie company is like taking forever. So we're just going to have to hold these off. People are getting really pissed, but that koozie company, you know, all because of it, like like with with vinyl, the vinyl pressings. Uh, That's the best. Adele's yeah. record held everything back, so it could be something like that. Yeah, yeah, but that's 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 the advantage of not publishing every little thing that came in something. Yeah, is that you have time to get to do other things. Right. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Or yeah. just be honest about it. Absolutely. Because the, that's the probably issue, the best way. I, I hate to you know belabor it, but the, the issue is is that you're out there still hawking loot crates. Yeah. Like that, that's the wild part to me that you're not uh, that you you don't have anybody in the company going like okay this is a major problem right we need to like grind it to a halt and figure out how to fix this but I'm not going to send the guy who is waiting on what he ordered more emails to buy more stuff that's in poor taste absolutely like, that's that's in poor taste it and, is. and and it's just like like most corporations in this country they just don't care right they just now, don't care. One they, thing they know that you might get mad, but what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about and it? That, yeah. And that's that's the issue. Still have money, like, one thing. Straight up. Um, yes, wh- exactly. One more thing before we get out of here, because um, this is all kind of reminding me of back in the day with uh, Masters of the Universe Classics. Now, um, I think uh, Jono had emailed us, uh, one of our correspondents had emailed us on a show uh, previously of Turtle Soup Podcast, and uh, he had mentioned um, something about... Uh, the 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 uh, this guy that was a part of Mattel back when uh, Masters of the Universe Classics was a thing, uh, Scott Knight, like he would come on and talk on all the podcasts and stuff like that and try to explain things and kind of quell some stuff, which was really good of him. Like I thought that was really cool that he would get in and, yeah. and tell you some of the insider stuff. Like people would get like really like upset about certain characters or certain things getting a uh, precedence over other more important characters, and they were thinking that like. Oh, because this She-Ra character got made, that means that like this He-Man figure is not going to get made. And he would explain that like there's different skews and there's this other stuff. So I just want to like let it be, you know, bring it to people's attention that that may not know or aren't well versed in any of this. Uh, and, and we're not necessarily either. We're just almost in the same boat as everyone else. But just having a little bit of that foreknowledge, I'm wondering also if there's some of that, like that that um, the skew numbers and all this stuff and that like w- appropriation of like certain funds, like how that works within this the arrangement with NECA and uh, Loot Crate that that I wonder if that had something to do with it, too. But I, I really don't know because we don't have anyone advocating necessarily for Loot Crate except for their emails trying to get you to buy more Loot Crates that they may or may not send you. So, yeah, that's the thing at, at, when they didn't have any kind of formal answer. Like so. So, I mean, obviously, like I'm not a journalist, but like we do report some news and I do I mean, know enough to have journalistic so. intent uh, yeah. and understand kind of like what uh, what you're supposed to do for integrity. Right. Um, and yeah, Lucrate has had an opportunity to answer any of these concerns, tell their side of the story, mm. uh, explain things. And then they never have. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, so so when we put out our first initial news story on this, I when I looked at everyone trying to get Loot Crate to say anything and they wouldn't say anything, I go, well, that's just no comment right? Uh, uh, on the situation. So, so yeah, no one's really uh, out here uh, from Loot Crate discussing or, or explaining things. And at that point, your silence, you know, says volumes. It does. Like, like there's a certain point where you, you just, now we're going to talk about it. Right. Uh, if there's a conversation going on about you, you have every right not to not to get involved. But if you don't get involved, you don't say your piece. Exactly. So so that's that's where it's at. And uh, by the way, I mean they're still they're in ongoing litigation. Yeah. Uh, about the sale of the company, like like they're they're trying to like revert that. Yeah. I mean, like, so uh, I, I, you think they're going to discuss anything having to do with this loot crate when there's ongoing litigation? No. Like, absolutely not. And that makes um, sense. But that does not stop them from sending you that email to sell you more loot crate. Right. It's just show a little bit of tact. And that's, I would say. yeah. 
yeah no i mean and at this point that's where you you have to be an informed consumer and figure yeah. out what for your own self what you think about all this and whether you're willing to do business with them again absolutely um that's everyone's uh, own decision to make uh, at that point indeed indeed well uh we want to know what you think about all this. What's your decision mm, you're going to make? Where are you? Know. Did you get the email? Like, what do you think of Rex One? Do you think that him? He would you would yeah. would you give him your heart over Howie? You know. And then what about the Stranger mm. Things stuff? Are you into it? Are you like just repulsed by everything that Playmates is doing? Unfortunately, like, what could Playmates do if they were listening that could make it better? We want to know. Email yeah. us turtlesoupshow at gmail .com. Also, you can leave a yes. comment in the uh, you know on below in the video. And, uh, yeah, we'll get back to you, and uh, we want to know all about it. So please let us know. And then, yeah, so, uh, Ryan, anything else? Closing words? I mean, just grab a snack, and we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>